welcome back guys today i am going to guide you how you can monitor amazon virtual private cloud using wazoo how you can be able to see the logs and monitor the log using wazoo okay for the Amazon configuration point of view what you have to do first you have to create a new bucket or you can choose an existing bucket if you want to create a new bucket uh, you can follow this guidance good what you have to do in the section we will see how to create these data containers right we are what we are doing first we are configuring an s3 bucket in the amazon we will go to the service then we will go to the storage option then we will click on this s3 bucket option as you can see here next what you have to do click on to create bucket create a new bucket give it a name then click on the create bucket note down the bucket arn because it might be needed later it will be needed right the question is why we are creating s3 bucket we are we are creating this bucket to store the logs then we will configure uh, in the wazoo using this bucket the bucket who have the vpc logs right if you want to create a new bucket these were uh, the steps okay and the further process is this we will go to the services uh, we will go to the compute or then we will go to select EC2 then what we will go next do next do to go to the network security network infer interface on the left menu select a network interface and select a and create a flow log on the action menu okay change all the fields to look like the following screenshot and paste the ARN of the previously created bucket right we will paste this ARN of the existing bucket or the one we have newly created then we have to create an policy To create a policy using the Amazon Web Services Console, you can follow this guidance. Take into the account that the policy below follow the principle of least privilege to ensure that only minimum permission are provided to the Wazoo user. Why we are creating this policy? We are going to allow a user to read the logs from the Amazon account or and the S3 buckets, right? To allow an user AWS user to use the module with read only permission it must have the policy like the following attach okay how we can create policy using JSON editor we will go to our Amazon account then we will go to the IM user in the navigation pane on the left choose policy we will first create a particular policy and then we will attach that policy to the to an existing user we have created in the Amazon before or we are going to attach this policy to a new user right we will create the policy in the policy editor you will see that you will see the JSON option then what we will do we will copy this bunch of code or this bunch of code or script in that json editor option right then we will name that 
policy and we will save that policy okay enough for our scenario we will what is the difference the only difference in both of these script is the only we have we will attach the delete object option in that script and we will replace this piece of code with our bucket name here and here as well in this including these signs we will remove this bunch of script and we will paste our bucket name okay a note is that bucket name is the placeholder replace it with the actual name of the bucket from which you want to retrieve the log as i have already told you that why we need bucket why we create s3 bucket we are going to save the logs in that bucket and then we will retrieve the logs using wazoo from this bucket and wazoo will display the log once a policy has been created there are different methods available to attach it to the user such as attaching it directly or to a group to which user belong do you understand we can simply attach that policy to the user if a user is in any group then we will attach that policy to that group okay to allow an aws to execute the vpc integration it must have the policy like the following attack we will create another policy like i have created one policy vpc policy and then we will create an other policy with this piece of script and we are going to attach both these policy to the particular user we are going to use then what we will do now it's the wazu configuration part we will go to this configuration file or we can simply go to the configuration from the wazu gui we will add this piece of code we will we will set timer according to requirement or requirement i want every single log in 1 minute that i will set that time to 1 minute disable no means this script will work if we edit and replace no with yes the script will be disabled every time any change occur or turn shut down restart it will scan on every start skip one error if any occur an error occur it will skip the log right now this is the important part which type of bucket we are going to attach for retrieving the logs it it's a vpc flow log bucket name of that bucket the aws profile what is this aws profile we are not going to create the aws profile or we can create that aws profile what this aws profile includes or contain for the integration purpose we have to we have to create and integrate this profile for the retrieving of logs in wazoo okay this aws profile contains secret key and access key for the user we we are going to create or we are going to attach in the aws console account by using 
this we are going to receive the log in the wazoo right let me um show you something wait for a minute okay how the access key and secret key looks like the access key is look like this and the secret key is going to look like this okay these both these keys you can find in the user properties or user configuration okay now the one step i have missed how you can create an im user configuring aws credential we are going to create a file in own on the wazoo server okay and how we can create an im user we, we can create a user by going to the services in our amazon console click on this im user and click on the user and you can see you are going to define a username and select aws credential type access key then next step is click on the next permission to continue confirm confirm user creation and get and get credential right okay from here you can easily get the access key id and the secret key id you can see here save the credential you will use them later to configure the module depending on the service that will be monitored the user will need a different set of permission the permission required for e-service are explained on the page of e-service listed in the support service now. okay now how you can now the step is how you will configure this aws profile setting in the wazoo configuration on the or the wazoo server you can define profile in at this path and by creating a new text file okay for example the following credential like as you can see the default uh, keyword here if we have more than one one access key and secret key we will define different names as well if we have only one we will define this piece of code and we will paste that access key here and secret key here and we will save this file right to use the profile profile in the aws integration you will use the following bucket configuration if we have if we are going to use aws profile with different name we will use that different name right okay this is the scenario how you can create an aws profile and if which parameters you are going to use and create this aws profile and how you can use this aws profile and what is the use of this aws profile right the next step we are going to restart the wazoo manager by running this command on wazoo server and this is how you can create the amazon virtual private cloud logs the logs will start receiving and you can see those logs like the way i am showing you right now hope you guys understood this very well if you face any kind of issue or the confusion you can comment on my video and you can email and text me anytime i have provided the detail on my youtube channel stay tuned guys please like like and subscribe my channel and share with your colleagues friends and students
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग स्टे ट्यून गुड बाय